made the Harlem Shake go viral? Was it you? Was it me? Was it this ad hoc meme that was just perfect spur of the moment? No, not so much. It was actually a huge corporate effort. Uh, going back to the timeline of things, it started with when George Miller, he's a YouTuber, he has kind of an obscure sense of humor and he made kind of an absurdist video that started it all using that, that song, The Harlem Shake, which was previously an unknown song and some silly dancing. And it was starting to gain a little bit of steam um, after some people picked up on it, did their own parody videos. Of course, that's part of the nature of YouTube, you know, seeing something, making your own version, making your own parody, do your own dance. Single ladies, put your hands up. You get it. It started to become a bit of a thing on Reddit, and that was when it was recognized as pre-viral by some of the people over at Maker. Maker then made their own video. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist. You really got into it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. And the whole internet did, actually, after after that one aired. In a big, weird way, In yeah. a big way. Well, it started being all over articles, and there were, I think one BuzzFeed said, you gotta jump on this trend before it goes away. Here's the deal with if you're a copyright holder and you have a song that could be used on YouTube. You can either choose to block someone from profiting off your song, or you can join in together and each make a cut of the deal. Well, that's what happened. Bauer, real name Harry Rodriguez, and his record label saw this and decided, you know, we're gonna tweet about this, we're gonna spread it out. Other people on the label started also spreading the word, and it became a huge sensational hit, and of course they made a lot of money off of it. This blew my mind. Yeah. Because it was so fast and so organic, everyone got on board, you know, government offices and schools oh, and yeah. you know every website Al that Roker we saw did it. yeah like it was on the like local news stations did it someone in the young turks did it though we didn't actually uh I wasn't in one. You weren't. Oh, well, I wasn't in. Missed it. Oh, so it was pretty bomb. But we didn't we didn't make it so we could monetize off of it. So we weren't exactly part of the the it this feels great like wave. a conspiracy. What? Like I got fooled. Well, like, you know, like the whole time, like the, you know, at the very end, like, you know, Monsanto pulls off the mask and like, we made so much no, money off of this. It wasn't Monsanto? Monsanto. Yeah, Monsanto. they're, okay, they, they are pretty much straight up evil. Yeah. But it wasn't them. It was more like Maker identified it as something that could really be an out of control success. And also right around, it, this happened right around the Super Bowl. And as we remember, there was a blackout during the Super Bowl. And this was a time when Companies like Oreo decided to do some real-time marketing and it worked really well for them. People liked it and they were like, okay, we gotta find the next big thing. What's the big next big thing? Well, the, the thing is they're not finding the next big thing. They're manufacturing well, they the next big thing. Well, they kind of farm for it on Reddit because it said, let's find something that's pre-viral. Let's, let's find something that- But without their help, it never would have gone that way. No, it wouldn't have and Bauer wouldn't have made whatever profit he's made and neither would have his, comp his company. I'd be interested to know how much money he made off all those videos. I don't think he made a ton Personally, really? Because there were a no, billion no, no. of those Him videos. himself, because the, the wealth does get spread around to the label. So was it Maker? Was it? Well, Maker, Maker is partly owned by Time Warner Cable. Ugh. And, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Tim, how do you feel about Time Warner Cable? I hate Time Warner Cable. <laughs> They're the worst. Okay, well, I don't know if it was necessarily uh. there. <laughs> Are we owned by Time Warner Cable? No, we're not. We're independent, <laughs> okay, so don't good. worry. There, no one's from Time Warner Cable is profiting off this video. Ah, Harlem Shake, Time Warner Cable? I feel dirty, I, yeah. Well. I liked those. I'm a shill, I'm a corporate shill. We all are, everyone who watched it, everyone who made one, I made two, how do you think I feel? God, you're worse than me. I'm the worst in this whole room, because I'm such a good dancer and I made it just get so viral. And that meme lasted like three weeks. It did. Like way longer than it should have. It, it was, it was, a superstar meme. George Miller, the one who I guess was the root of all of this, did not make any money. Um, his even because typical. If he had not put that song in the video, 
it would it'd still be nowhere. It was a really obscure electronic song. And so he didn't see anything. Neither did the man who originally started the Harlem Shake, who died in 2006. So it's just like these corporations, um, they did make it a huge, huge, huge success, but they also were the ones who made, reaped the benefits. And this is probably a model that will be used for memes to memes to come. So, I mean, it's the formula, right? It's that it was short, it was easy to do. It's short, it's easy to do. That was the it's magic silly. formula Anyone that they identified. Anyone can do it. Yeah. I mean, it, I, it, it smart. does it not take that much time to do at all. And it's just, you can disguise it as something that's just the magic of the internet, the vir viralness. I don't know. Do you feel dirty now? Yeah. Do you feel okay? Do you yep. feel bad about getting up on that chair and shaking your ass in my face? Because you really should. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it, but I'll feel I'll feel worse every time now. I'm You're gonna find my own song and make my own meme. Yeah. Blackjack. Just leave Hookers. the money on the counter. Time Warner, thanks. I'll see myself out. So the technology may have changed, but the money still flows the same way to creators of contracts, not creators of content. Yay! Feel good about that one.